Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an update for my Panda palette for you. We're actually back on track with these because I've been kind of out of my, my usual routine with filming these. My last update I filmed I believe on the 9th of March. Right now we are on the 1st of April so I'm doing this kind of on the right day. Uh, which is good. <laughs> We're back. That does mean I've got about three weeks of progress this time, but next week, next week, next month, we can actually have a full month of progress to show you again. So let's talk through my palettes. I'm working on three still. One from two years ago, one that I rolled in last year, and then the one that I rolled in this year. I am definitely already considering next year to maybe just like keep working on a palette if I haven't finished it off yet and then roll something new in once I've finished it off. Unless I really feel like I only have like one shade left that I want some extra accompaniment around. But yeah, let's talk uh, palettes first. Starting off with my Amuse palette. This, uh, I've been working only on the blush for a couple of months now. Let's take a quick look at what that one looked like last time. And I was kind of hoping to have this one finished at this point. And I guess from the way I'm saying that, you can already see. I did not make it all the way, but I looked at a picture. I normally forget to do that, but I looked at a picture and I'm like, okay. No, I did actually make progress in the last three weeks. Because for me, it's always hard to like really notice the progress. Because of course, I'm using it every day. So it moves a little bit every day. And I feel like it's still not gone. How is that possible? But then when I look at where I was and where I am now, I can definitely see I've been working on it. And seeing the difference that I made there in like three weeks, maybe, just maybe, I will actually be able to get this one out by next time. That would be good. Um, but yeah, we are currently almost done with this palette just working on that blush i've used it 22 times since last time i guess i filmed the previous one on the 9th of march for an april march had 31 days right yeah anyway apparently i've been doing my makeup pretty much every day <laughs> over the last three weeks um total uses right now of 441 uses i definitely hope that i will not reach 500 uses on this before it's gone um but we're still working on it. We're close though. I'm excited <laughs> to finally be able to roll that one out. Then we have my The Seasons Must Have quad from Catrice. Let's take a quick look at what that one looked like last time. My goal was to mainly focus on the teal shade and maybe hit corner pan in the purple shade. I cannot not hold this up straight because as you can see, there is quite a bit of crumbles in this purple shade, but this is where we are right now. And I'm happy enough with the progress that I made on this because last month I decided to not like like full on focus in on anything in here anymore. Um, I just wanted to play around with the new palette that I rolled in and kind of use this on the side. Uh, some of you suggested that I just maybe take this out completely or do some things with it. I think I think I found like the way that I would like to use this now is I pick one shade in here that I kind of want to focus on a little bit. And then for the other ones, I just use it whenever I feel like using it. But my main focus is my new palette. Also because the color story in that palette just is a little bit more appealing to me than what I have here. Now, I do have a purple shade that is fairly similar to this guy in my other palette. So when I have this close by, um, especially because I'm using that teal shade already a fair bit anyway, I tend to go for this one instead of that purple shade if I want to go for like a more eggplanty outer corner. Uh, and that's what I've been doing. Long story short, <laughs> um, I have, because of that, let's go from the top. The burgundy shade, uh, or eggplant shade, I have used seven times over the last three weeks, bringing me to a total of 136 uses. Definitely like nice to see that corner pen appearing now. It makes me definitely feel like I made a good bit of progress, even though it was only seven uses. Um, along the side here, it's starting to crumble though, which kind of why it looks a little bit messy. I've also been kind of tapping my brush off on top of it, not to like lose a lot of product because it is a fairly powdery um, consistency, this one. And yeah, some of the powder is still in there as well. I was hoping to kind of get rid of most of that, uh, but then another charm fell off and yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're working with for the eggplant shade. 
The gray I only used twice. I did still use it even though I didn't like make myself use it basically. I guess I still grabbed for it twice so that's nice. <laughs> And then the teal shade right here, I have used 13 times, which means that like most of the times I managed to get myself to use it. But whenever I would wanted to go for like a warmer look, like for example, today I'm wearing a warm shirt. I just didn't feel like putting teal in my crease. So I did it. That is something that I'm learning now. Like sometimes I can be so strict, I guess, with like, oh no, but I wanted to like focus on that teal. So I want to use it in every single look. And then, it's, it's supposed to be fun, right? So it's, it was still, it's not like I hated it, but I'm trying to let myself be free a little bit more because I am still working on my other colors in my Pena palette. It's not like I'm like pulling out random shades and, and losing focus completely. Um, yeah, so I have used it, like I said, 13 times for a total of 58 on this one. And the gray shade, I have 168, yes uses on that one right now definitely can see a good difference in that teal shade as well uh, through those 13 uses so i have hope that maybe i can finish it off in the next three months or so and then i might move a little bit more to using the gray instead which might mean i might not have this finished by the end of the year either but i think it's okay so that is that one and then lastly of course i have my non-branded palette which is my main pen palette for this year uh, definitely a lot more to talk about, a lot more shades in here. So let's take a quick look at what that one looked like last time. And for this guy, my main focus was to uh, like use the pink shade uh, as much as possible. Uh, at the same time, I wanted to try and see if I could hit a new pen with the main focus being on the cooler side of the palette because um, I know once summer fall time comes, I want to use the warmer shades more for sure. This is where we are right now. And as you can probably see, I did hit a new pen, but not in the shade that you might assume <laughs> I would have hit it in. So um, let's go through them one by one. I can turn it around, but I would have that in your face so i'm gonna hold it like this but we're also still gonna start with this guy being number one just to make it extra confusing shade number one uh is gone <laughs> i don't think it was here anymore when we started so that's one that i haven't really used of course then shade number two is the pink shade that i tried to focus in on more i've used that one 14 times since last time again sometimes I went for a warmer look because I just really did not feel like it today, for example, as well, wearing the pink with the look that I've got going on right now. Sometimes I would put still the pink, that's not the proper order of words, but I would still put the pink on my lid, but then like make it warmer in my crease and stuff, which worked, but sometimes I just don't even feel like doing that. So I don't. That's good. I'm proud of myself for doing that. Uh, 14 uses in total because I hadn't touched this yet before. Then the brown shade next to it, that is my focus brown because these two are fairly similar. So I'm just focusing on this one right now. If I want to use a darker brown, I've used this one three times since last time, bring me to a total of seven uses. This guy was never here since we started this project. This one is the one that is very similar to that burgundy eggplant shade in my uh, Seasons Must Have palette from Catrice. I've used this once. Just because I didn't feel like grabbing for it in another palette, but um, outside of that, I have been working with the other one, and that one is definitely a bit more pigmented and a bit darker than this one uh, tends to be. This one fades quite quickly, I have noticed, uh, but I've used it a total of two times, so I can't say too much about it yet, I guess. This guy I have not used and I have not touched at all yet throughout this project, so zero uses. This one right here I have on my lids today. Uh, this one also I've noticed that the pigmentation is not great anymore. So it might be better off being used as a uh, crease shade. But when it comes to warmer shades, if I want to stick to this palette, this really is the only one that I would like go for when it comes to a lid shade. Maybe this one, but it's, it's already on the darker side. This would be more of a crease like transition shade for me as well. Uh, so... Yeah, that is what I've used on my lid. Um, I might start incorporating my yellow gold pigment from NYX a little bit more as well when I when I like go for a warmer look. But 
Uh, I've used this one two times, bring me to a total of eight uses right now. Then this guy I've used two times as well over the last months. I've used this in my crease. Um, I think once, and I've used this to kind of like fade out from my outer V onto my lid. And uh, this is a good shade for that as well. Two times in total for now. This guy I've used a fair bit in my inner corner just to kind of play around with that, see if that would something uh, would be something I would enjoy. I've done that 18 times. So I've definitely taken my time to figure out if I enjoy that or not. And like, if I just want to go for like, just a really simple look, it works. It's like slightly darker than I would normally like um, an inner corner highlight to be, uh, but it's not too dark. It doesn't like darken the inside of my, of my corner, the inner corner of my eye works. Um, so that's, kind of okay. Uh, I definitely expanded the pen doing that, even though I'm only using it with like my detailer brush and putting it in the inside. But at the same time, I noticed I'm kind of missing like the little bit of spark that I can put there, especially with some of these shades, maybe not being as like intense or in your face. It's nice to be able to do something with my inner corner that's a bit more intense. So the last two days, I think I've been going back to using the shade that I'm using as my highlight as well in my inner corner to just give a little bit more sparkle, which uh, I think I'm going to go back to. I might use this guy every now and then, but I don't think I want to focus in on this one as like my main inner corner shade. This is probably going to be a lid shade a little bit more often again. Then this guy I did not use. Oh, I used once. Um, yeah for a total of two right now. <laughs> Nothing too major to talk about there. And this guy, like I said, I'm focusing on this one first. So zero uses on this one. And then this one was never there, right? Yeah, this one was never there. Uh, this one actually took me 26 uses to finish. So there was something there still when we started. Anyway, this guy I've been using a fair bit as kind of my, my blending out shade in my crease as the first thing that I put on before I put like my transition or like darkening up shades. And I've used this one 14 times that way. I have it on today as well, but as you can see, like I've got a warmer look, but because this goes as the very first thing, it doesn't really get in the way of the look. It doesn't like cool it down too much or anything. This was the one that I was hoping to maybe hit pan in this time because I have been focusing on it more. Um, we're not there yet, as you can see. Uh, 14 uses bring me to a total of 21. I think there is potential for me to hit pan on this one next time. Then the blue shade we hit pan on last time, and since then I have not really touched it. So eight uses. Uh, my main goal here was to just try and hit pan. Uh, then we have the darker green shade. I've used that one four times since last time when I feel like going a little bit more green, because I do like my greens as well, as you guys probably know at this point. Four more uses for a total of 10. And at the same time, I've been using this one a little bit more um, for the same reasons. I've used this one five times. And as you can see, I managed to hit pan. I did that after 10 total uses and I'm at 14 right now. So literally one use uh, since my last update got me to hitting pan on it. And then I've had an additional four uses to expand it a little bit. So that is my new pen for this time. So I'm trying to, like I said, hit pen on at least one shade every single time. And even though I wasn't expecting it to be this one, that was the one that hit the pen first. And I'm hoping that I can do that for this one next time. Now we're gonna open this up and take a look at the blushes slash bronzers. Uh, well, as you guys could see, I did not finish off the blush in my other palette yet. So we're still pretty much in the same place. Um, the only one that I have been focusing on is my bronzer right here. So I'm not even going to go into the other ones because I didn't really touch them. I didn't touch them. There's no really there. <laughs> uh, this guy I have used at least 12 times. I feel like I'm kind of forgetting to mark this one sometimes because I've got my notes on this little piece of paper right here and it starts with all the eyeshadows and then at the bottom I have the blushes. But there is a little gap between like blush number one, which is one here in the corner, and number six. And I'm just kind of like going through all the shades. Did I use any of these? No, 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 no. Yes, yes, no. Uh, and, and then I forget to look at the bottom of the page and mark my bronzer sometimes. So it might be like two, three uses more than what I have marked. Anyway, at least 24 uses on this guy for now. 
and I think I'm getting close to pan. I'm hoping that by next time I will have pan in that one, but we'll see. Okay, that is it for today. Let's talk goals still before I let you go. I want to finish this. I think I said a similar thing last time, but I want to finish this and I'm gonna use this on my lid or on my eyes if I'm really close by the end of this month. Although I have a feeling that by just using it as a blush for like an actual full month, I should be able to get there. But I'm almost promising to you guys it will be done next time. Then for this guy right here, I'm not gonna hold it up again. The eggplant shade, I want to try and get rid of as much as the, like, things that broke off and, and powder that is still left in there to actually show you the pen properly. And I'm gonna try and put a little bit of focus again on that teal shade to see if I can indeed get that out within the next three months or so. To have at least one less shade to focus in on here, on, in, there. And then for this guy, um, since we're still kind of like spring-ish I want to try and um, still focus in on this guy see if I can at least finish off what's in the corner here I'm really close in hitting pan at the top right here uh, I want to try and see if I can hit pan in this guy and I want to see if I can hit pan in my bronzer right there as well um, outside of that I'm just gonna be playing with it nothing major yet and that is it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye-bye.